I set this image on my community tab, and this is what you guys thought it was. And well, none of you got it right. The story involves a talking frog, a Geometry Dash YouTuber, and 10 years of my life. Now, I've been doing redstone for almost a decade now, and recently started to build my reputation on being the bigification guy. But there's one redstone build I've always wanted to make throughout these 10 years. One redstone minigame that I must complete to die peacefully on this planet. I, wa I want to make Simon. Like, the, the color. Simon is this big circular boy with these four lovely colored buttons. It plays a random sequence of colors that increases with every brown that the player must replicate in order to move on. This repeats with the sequence getting longer and longer until the player messes up losing the game. And I want to do all that in Minecraft with redstone without a clue as to how. And make it the smallest ever. Now, like I said earlier, I've always wanted to build this. In fact, if we go on my cube crowd plot, this is a lot of my 2016, 2017 redstone, we can actually see some remnants of a Simon game. And I got to the input and that's about it. I also tried to revisit the Simon idea way up there. But in the end, neither of these temps actually did anything. So how about we finally change that? Since I want to make my Simon the best Simon, I went onto YouTube to see my competition. And this guy named Cyan Gaming made this design claiming it was the smallest ever made and what is that? So I found that? another design by someone named Narcoleptic Frog that used this interesting chess minecart ROM to make this thing absolutely tiny. And the best part is it stays the same size no matter how much information is stored. So after shrinking it down, let's see how this thing works. These minecarts get swapped by these pistons, letting the items flow through these hoppers, activating these comparators. If it's a shovel, this comparator will output a signal strength of three, reaching these repeaters. We can even control the speed of the sequence by locking these hoppers or letting the items go all at once. Now that we have a memory circuit, what exactly do we do with well, it? Well, let's break down the process. Right, so first we need to add a random color to the sequence into the chess memory. Then we have to swap these minecarts and let that sequence play through these comparators so that the player can see what it actually is. And finally swap them again, but this time sending the sequence one color at a time by locking these hoppers. To randomize the colors, we need to select one of these slices to receive a shovel and give the rest a stackable item. So that way one of them gives the signal strength of three, activating the color, and the rest act as sort of like a placeholder for that spot in memory for the other colors. One way we can get a randomizer with more than two options is using shulker box. With this setup, we can randomly dispense one of our four shulker boxes that are filled with four different fullness. Why did I put that in the script? That is so hard to say. Holy moly. We can read that shulker box with the comparator and put it into this red coder, which will turn the signal strength into one output. But this setup still has a problem. We only have one output, so we can only dispense one item into the slices. So how do we give every other slice a stackable item? With this! What? Is this? This is the red coder we just talked about, and now each torch powers a piston that pushes up a stack of blocks. First, it pushes a target block out of the way from this redstone line. This observer then powers a dropper that puts a shovel in that slice. Then the redstone line gets powered, activating all the other slices playing playing? Oh. Placing a stackable item. And bing bang bong, connect them together. Now whenever we manually activate it, we get a new color added to the sequence and it gets played to the player. And while I was at it, I also added this line of hopper minecarts that can take all the items out of the memory. So now I have to somehow make a button thing that checks if your player input is the same as this pattern and then restart the whole cycle again. So, uh, wish me luck. Huge time skip. So at this point, it had been a few days since I'd actually worked on Simon, and I just got really scared and lazy from my doing any and then started playing MCC Island. But then inexplicably, while I was playing TG Titty OS, I suddenly figured out to how to make the entire rest of the game. So, so why am I still here? I'm, let me actually let me just finish this game first, okay? So right now we can add to the sequence and then play it, but we can't check whether the player is correct. Okay, yes. never mind. Now we can. So after swapping the cards again, this front part here locks these hoppers, letting the first color into these comparators. Each color is linked to a piston that moves a block in front of the player input. If the right color is pressed, the signal will go through this block, activating the entire system again to play another round. If it's wrong, it will go through this orange line, resetting the whole game. And then all I needed to do is add a big fat Simon display that caused way Way too many problems for what it's worth like oh my god and bam here we are after 10 years of countless different people making redstone simon mini games and a wise talking pro i published this mysterious picture to see if anyone could guess what it was and over 300 people got it wrong but one incredibly smart very redstone savvy person got it right the intelligence level of this individual was so great that he bested many of the smartest redstone and and it was tried a a, a geometry dash YouTuber. <laughs> so I invited him to see how well he could play my Simon game. The world's just loading in. I'm falling through it. Give me a sec. <laughs> yep, yep. I can see you moving around, but it won't let me move. Oh, you have left. Time down. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh boy. Not like this. Not like this. Uh, are wait. you moving around? Oh, uh, no. no! I don't know if turning down server render distance or any of that will fix it. Oh, view distance is also 32. Oh! <gasps> 
Oh my god, you're moving around. Oh my god, you're moving <laughs> around. So I posted mysterious images on YouTube and Twitter mm -hmm. of redstone. Ah, <laughs> there it is. Thing that I guessed. The thing that you guessed. You're the only person to have guessed it correctly. No way, really? You're the only one. So <laughs> as a reward, you get to be in the video because you're the only one who guessed Yo. it. Let's go. <laughs> the geometry dash YouTuber. Oh, yeah. Okay, so push green button in the middle. Press push. the button in the middle? Yes. It will play you a pattern. Now you just have to wait for the lamp to go back on, and that's when you can repeat the oh, pattern. Okay. That's cool. So yeah. Hey, I got a diamond. You're, you're gonna earn diamonds every single round. Except if you get it wrong, you die. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't see it! You better be paying attention. Oh, I'm paying attention. Taking this very, very seriously. That one. That one. That one. It's been a fairly easy pattern so far. Okay. It is very user friendly. Wait, was it just back to this? Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ooh, he's <laughs> You're making starting, me nervous with your He's sounds. starting okay. to forget. This pattern. Is this randomly generated? It is random. Boom, boom, boom. No blue, we're not touching the blue, apparently. Yeah, no blue. D Wait, was it too green to start off with? Oh my god, yeah. no way. <laughs> You're forgetting at the start. <laughs> oh my god, it wasn't too green. So, what have we learned today? Well, people who don't play Minecraft are smarter than people who do. And your boy Crafty Masterman made the smallest Simon game ever made in Minecraft. And well, that is something worth subscribing for. <laughs>